What's up guys, Dimebot here, and today I wanted to take a look at a little game on Steam called Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. <clears throat> now this was made by one man, and this is a really interesting, kind of cute little game. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I enjoy it. can move with A&D and with space, jump twice, once in midair. It is well known enough, actually, that new purveyors of the fact know to scribble it down in their personal notebooks, marveling at how useful it could be even within a few short minutes. So here we have the developer giving us the voiceover for the game. It's uh, it's oh, charming. Fact, it's Ducky was very tongue-in-cheek, very fourth wall breaking. It was while well he was A&Ding, in fact, that he found a rainbow gun. It was a cloudy day in the cloud place. No rain was predicted, but light showers of colored weaponry were in the forecast. I'd like and to be in a place where it uh, rained weaponry. There, lying on the ground, was a rainbow gun. Of course it was a rainbow gun. Plainly, it stated it was both a left and right mouse button rainbow gun. Indeed, said a gun. What luck. Oh, what luck, said his friend Mr. The Tree. Why not go about and shoot all those spikies? Of course we'll shoot the spiky spikies. So they love to be zapped yeah, with guns, of course. Would appreciate it so much. Of course, though, be careful of them getting to it. However, good such to the beach. Duck to the beach, of course. In this game, the enemies uh, they don't die. They leave in a burst of teleportation to tell other enemies to come get shot with the rainbow gun because they love it. So here we are in Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. You control the duck down here. He's a square. He His face rolls around, which is probably a bit uncomfortable. Ah, simple controls. A and D. I'm shooting with the left and right mouse buttons. The left is that. Regular fire. And the right is that right there. You'll notice up on the top I have a health bar with some check marks on it. Uh, the idea is to get out of the level with as much health left as you can because there are certain levels in this game that are locked, you have to get perfect scores on them. But as you can see, the game's really not afraid to throw a lot of stuff at you at once. Fortunately, you have the double jump to clear these horrible, horrible lines of bugs. And you can press down and then A and D to slide. You can still double jump while doing that. And let's see if we can get... Yes. So there are secrets in the game. This actually counts as a secret. You'll see that it popped up on the top right. And unfortunately I tabbed out of the game because it doesn't bind your mouse cursor, which that's yeah, an issue, but now we can exit the level. There we go. Let's take a look at this level real quick before I show you level two. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip through the text here real quick. If you do play the game, definitely take the time to listen to all of it. So here we have it's the first, one of the first instances of getting another weapon in the game. There are multiple weapons. I'll go ahead and show some of them off. We have the exploding bananas. We have this, which is, that is a yak. And it also shoots a projectile, which I can use to get smiley faces off these guys myself. I love the music in this game, by the way. The music is simple, but well done. It kind of fits the theme of the game, and I got tabbed out. Again, this is going to be a recurring problem. So I've gone ahead and slid out of the level. Um, let's try that again and show off some of the other weapons. We have me pounding on the spacebar here real quick. So we've... That was weird. Little control glitch there. Um, what the hell? Let's see if that persists in this little. Nope. I think my controller was actually causing issues. Can I move with my... Oh! This just then, guys, you can actually move in with the controller in this game. So this level's a little different. Um, no weapons. I'm simply chilling out with the teleporting penguins here. Trying to avoid the snowflakes because... For whatever inexplicable reason, I guess Ducky doesn't like cold. Apparently there is a... Uh, skin for Ducky that will allow him to be immune to the cold. And we'll touch on skins and how you acquire them in just a moment because having skins that give different properties is a nice little customization element I wasn't necessarily expecting out of a game like this. Let's take a look at this level. 
Ducky made it to the digital. The digital, digital place is very the quiet. There's no music. There is, however, the rocket. These weapons are not level exclusive. Uh, this is, I think, the first level, second level where you get the rocket, as it's called. It's a good thing because all these enemies. I really like the art style of this game. It's simple, but it's very colorful. It's very thematic with the way that he's set up the story of this game. It's just kind of charming. I think for any other type of game, this wouldn't really work that well, but for what Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun is, it's very cool. So let's talk about this. So you see down here I have some coins. You can buy skins with them. There's also the Bounce House where you can use your coins to place items to bounce on. There's actually an achievement for doing this. A lot of them make different noises. It's actually really fun. Uh, what else do we want to show off in this game? Ah, there's apparently some secret codes you can put in. Uh, I don't know any of them. I'll have to look on the forums and see if I can grab a few. There's also some interesting variety with levels like this right here because everyone's excited about the tornadoes. So let's use the stretchy Yak Smack and the Rock Candy Launcher, which is what gives us back our health. In one of the levels in the game, Evan's talking to you. He actually says that this game was supposed to be a one-week project that got way out of hand. I'm kind of glad it did get way out of hand, if that's really the case, because it really is a neat game. It's got a really cool aesthetic. It plays incredibly well. Uh, I'm taking a lot of hits. Those are purely my fault, because I suck at this kind of game, but that hasn't kept me from trying my damnedest to uh, beat it get a perfect score on these levels secrets. So we got a secret rainbow spiky. That was apparently the secret for this level. Now the reason for the secrets is that they will unlock levels. You have to get perfects to unlock these two levels right here. I think it's three and then five. And then you have to find all of the secrets to unlock the last level. So there's a lot to unlock here. And some of the secrets can only be found by right-clicking on a level, which allows you to go into the level without any enemies and just chill out and listen to the music or find the secret. enjoyed a lot. Uh, so I think there might be a secret. Oops. Didn't mean to. There we go. Let's right click on this level. Hmm. I wonder what the secret is in this level. Let's go ahead and try it again. Um, okay, so that was another secret. Everything's upside down now. That's a bit off-putting. Um, see if we can find a secret in this level. And we'll show off one of the other weapons. So there's a penguin gun and a freeze gun. The penguins are actually really good at... Uh, Freezing enemies in place. Or not freezing enemies in place, so. Ow. Penguins are good at clearing enemies in a straight line. So a lot of this game actually comes down to very quick weapon management, which you wouldn't think it would. Also, I love this mechanic down here with the asteroid flipping this. So, prime example of a use for the penguin right there. Let's see if we can get some health back. It's not the way to go about doing that. So once you lose all your health, you can't actually get it back, so 
Let's, uh, let's try that again. It's, I'm finding it hard to kind of put into words what I really love so much about this game. It's just a cute game. Uh, it's really well put together with the tongue-in-cheek humor. I may have to take to the Steam forums and find out what the secrets are. These are the levels, because I really, really want to see what these... Uh, these other ones are about. So you can see the white check marks here in the levels where I found the secrets. The red check marks indicate perfect. So we need to get one of each check on both or on all levels in order to see what the final level is. I'm gonna try and hang out here on the right side of the screen so that when I actually beat the level I can go ahead and get out easily. You have to be careful not to actually go off the screen now. Because that will take you back to the menu select screen and kind of end the level. Of course, it's not doing the snow thing so I may not be playing the actual level. I'm not. Let's try that again. I think that strategy will work and then we'll wrap it up. Wait, what? Why am I dying there? One thing I do wish you could do is skip the dialogue. Have an option to skip the dialogue after you've heard it for each level. It is charming, but when you're replaying levels trying to um, get perfect scores, it wastes a little bit of time. Good thing about being up here is I don't have to jump over those snowflakes. Nice. There's snowballs, or there, whatever they are. Glaciers? Ice cubes? I don't know. Aw. Alright, guys, yeah, that's Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. It's a cute game. It's really fun. It's a lot more complicated than you would think just by looking at it. I definitely recommend picking it up and taking a look. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Dinebot. I'll see you next time. Like what you saw? Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Or click on one of these other videos.